Oh. Okay, I wasn't... <laughs> my, my microphone wasn't plugged in. Hey guys, my name is Suchus, and today I'm gonna be making Luffy's Wanted poster from One Piece. So if you haven't seen One Piece, it's basically a show about pirates jumping the bandwagon of sailing out to sea to look for the great treasure called One Piece. I'm not usually much into anime, but I've really gotten into this show the past year, and seeing as Luffy is the main character and the future Pirate King, I thought this project was the obvious one to start with. I wanted the poster to look a bit faded and sort of worn out, so I started with an A3 paper and stained it with tea. Leaving it to dry, I left a few books on top of it so that the paper would keep its shape. Next, I made some lines for where I wanted to position the text and everything else. I used a lot of reference photos for this because it was hard to find one in high quality that depicted the entire thing. After calculating how big the letters and patterns had to be to fit within each respective area, I began sketching it out. I had a bit of a hard time deciding which bounty to use, since the reward for capturing Luffy has increased a lot throughout the course of the show. In retrospect, I think 30 million would have been a better idea since that was his original bounty. I wrote 100 million because that's what he had when I was watching at the time. I considered using black paint to fill it in, but I didn't trust my painting skills enough not to mess it up. It's much easier to make small details with a pen than a small brush. The text and everything took a bit of time, but it was fairly simple to make. The hard part was the mugshot, because I am not good at drawing people. I bumped into a lot of symmetrical issues when making the eyes, the mouth and the straw hat. If you've ever tried drawing a pair of symmetrical eyes, it's not that easy. <laughs> Thinking logically, the hardest part should have been Luffy, but for some reason it was a small picture of Usopp in the bottom left corner. I don't know why, because it only takes up like 4% of the whole thing, but I just couldn't get that part right. For the coloring, I used acrylic paint. The white areas took especially long, because they needed to be re-coated a few times so that the color of the paper wouldn't shine through. The remaining details and lines were filled in using a thin pigment liner after the paint had dried. I tried to be as precise as I could making the small scratches and stuff so that it had the same amount of lines as in the original. So there you have it guys, the terrifying wanted poster belonging to the future Mr. Pirate King. Alright guys, that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to the whole deal of adding commentary to my videos, so if I sound a bit awkward, it's because I am. If you have any ideas for future projects, you can leave your suggestions in the comment section below, and I'll see you all next time. Take care guys!